Changes are being made to help keep recovering patients from entering back into the hospital. In this morning's Medical Minute, Leanne Taylor explains how one hospital wants to help patients even after they're discharged. More than 34 million people would be admitted into a hospital this year throughout the United States. Although the average stay is about five days, that's just the beginning of the recovery process. The NIH reports 15% of discharged elderly patients end up back at the hospital. A Harvard study found half of all patients who were discharged had medication errors when they went home. That's just one of the major hurdles patients face. Now one hospital is hoping to change all that by creating health care coaches to guide patients who are recovering at home. Fly fishing has been part of Tom Brown's life for, well, his entire life. The charm of fly fishing is that it is the pursuit of what is elusive but attainable. But this year's annual fishing trip almost didn't happen. Yeah, I was... Uh, experiencing some dizziness and some lightheadedness. Tom needed immediate bypass surgery. He was in the hospital for nine days. The most frustrating thing is that once the patients go home from the hospital, the same lifestyle behavior that could have contributed to or actually caused the chronic health condition is the same thing that they go back to. That's why she's leading a new nursing program at Emory St. Joseph's Hospital. We're trying to combine our nursing experience and expertise with health coaching. Specially trained nurses connect one-on-one -on -one with discharged patients for 12 weeks, making sure they're taking their meds, going to all follow-up medical appointments, and providing weekly lifestyle and health coaching. If they would just take one small step this week, and we can help walk them through this week until they have a success. She says readmission rates decreased upwards of 50% so far, and ER visits decreased 60%. You're constantly accountable to each other. You're calling that person, they're calling you. Nurse Catherine Moore is Tom's nurse liaison. Who's not happy about the limitations. No cardiac patient is. I feel like they, that Catherine was responsive, you know, when she knew to lean this way or, or push over in this direction. With consistent contact, Catherine was able to learn what was important to Tom, specifically his annual fishing trip. Tom made it, waders and all. The new initiative is part of a larger program, which began in 2017, where each year nurses are trained on post-discharge transitional care management. So far, more than 430 nurses have participated in that course. That's your Saturday Morning Medical Minute. I'm Leanne Taylor. Have a great day.